Welcome back, True Seeker. Super Bowl 53 has just concluded. And as I said last year at the conclusion of Super Bowl 52, the Patriots will win Super Bowl 53. Bill Belichick will pick up his sixth championship at age 66, just as Nick Saban did winning his sixth championship at age 66 in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And in Nick Saban's case, he owns a bunch of Mercedes-Benz dealerships. Back when the Rams lost to the Patriots in Super Bowl 36, that was in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. So we're going to talk about just how scripted this is. But we're going to start here with Daniel 8. This is the reason Tom Brady, who's now considered the GOAT, joining Michael Jordan. If you noticed at halftime, all the performers were wearing Jordans, not by accident. Tom Brady just joined the Michael Jordan Club, winning his sixth championship. And the reason Tom Brady won number one against the Rams and his sixth, which will likely be his last, I don't think we're going to see Brady and Belichick in the Super Bowl again. We'll get to why. But the reason it comes full circle against the Rams is right here. Daniel 8. The story of the Ram versus the GOAT. The unstoppable Ram that could only be beat by the GOAT. And, of course, Sam Adams, the beer company out of Massachusetts, just came out with the can January 31st with Tom Brady, the GOAT. Talk about that. But here it is right here. As I was thinking about this, suddenly a goat with a prominent horn between its eyes came from the west, crossing the whole earth without touching the ground. It came toward the two-horned ram I had seen standing beside the canal and charged at it in great rage. I saw it attack the ram furiously, striking the ram and shattering its two horns. The ram was powerless to stand against it. The goat knocked it to the ground and trampled on it and none could rescue the ram from its power. Again, the people who control and script the worlds of sports, they use biblical riddles and biblical knowledge. You know, in the NBA, who's the face of the league? King James, King James, who has a Bible named after him. LeBron James, King James, who won the only championship for the Cavs on the real King James's birthday, June 19th. Won it in his 13th season, like King James became a king at 13 months of age. The Warriors went down in that game with 89 points. In Gematria, King James, just using the alphabetic order. A is 1 up to Z is 26. King James, 89. Not an accident. Go back and check it. There's a whole lot more to that riddle. But just understand, biblical riddles. Something I've been talking about all year. Tom Brady and Belichick pick up their sixth and give the AFC its 26th championship. There's a relationship with 6 and 26. It comes from the Bible. Mankind's made on the sixth day of creation in the 26th verse, Genesis 1, 26. And when you write out six, it equals 26. You see, Brady gets to six, Belichick gets to six. AFC gets its 26th. And as a reminder, I put it out to the public, week one, the Eagles would beat the Falcons who were hosting this Super Bowl in the 26 ritual. And what did I tell you? I said, it's gonna be a big 26 show. And it was all the touchdowns scored by number 26. I said, it would all be a tribute to how the AFC was gonna get its 26 Super Bowl. The opening game, September 6, 2018, it was a date with 26 numerology. It was the 26th of a lull on the Hebrew calendar. The only touchdown scored by number 26, the running backs for the Falcons and the Eagles. Eagles, the land of the flag, flag 26, Nick, Nick Foles was starting, Nick 26. I also pointed out in that game, the Falcons would stay at 351 franchise wins, which is the 26th triangular number. And... Um, here, I'm not taking any phone calls, you guys, until I'm done with this presentation. But 300, the Falcons came into the season with 351 franchise wins. That's the 26th triangular number. Tonight, in the Patriots game, Sony Michelle, who scored the only touchdown, number 26, the game was exactly 351 days after his birthday. He happens to have the same birthday as Michael Jordan, February 17th, which we'll get to. But when you add 1 through 26 together, 351. 
Of course, Sonny Michelle played at Georgia. Georgia lost to Alabama in the game where Nick Saban got his sixth championship at age 66. And remember, Alabama won that game with 26 points. And Nick Saban tied Bear Bryant. Bear equals 26. Bryant equals 26. And as we'll get to Jordan's 26. For those of you who follow the NBA, you probably just saw Jordan Charlotte team become 26 and 26 on the season, beating the Bulls, Jordan's old team. But understand, none of this stuff is an accident. When Alabama won the college championship, it was a 41 yard touchdown pass from number 13, Tua, to number six. Go back and look it up. It's all recorded. 41's the 13th prime, 13's the sixth prime. Number six catches the game winner to give Nick Saban his sixth. Alabama equals 13. Tonight, 41-year-old Tom Brady won the Super Bowl. It was put away with a 41-yard field goal that gave the Patriots 13 points. 41's the 13th prime number. NFL and Gematria is 13. L.A. equals 13. L.A. became 1-3 in, in Super Bowls. L.A. also picked up its 26th playoff loss tonight. Jared Goff stuck at 26 wins and 16 losses, 16 combined points in the game, 13 to three. That's because 53 is the 16th prime number. Jared Goff just got his 16th career loss tonight. All perfectly scripted. Three to nothing at halftime. You want to know why? Because when you add one plus two plus three, it equals six. Brady became six and three tonight. Look at this. When I write out 11, it equals 63. It was, top, it was the Patriots' 11th Super Bowl. Julian Edelman, number 11, becomes the MVP. Brady becomes 6-3 and three in the 11th. Mercedes-Benz Stadium equals 307. It was Tom Brady's 307th playoff game tonight. 307 is the 63rd prime number. That's why I told you guys to sign up for the Patreon if you wanted the Super Bowl pick. It was as close to a lock as you can possibly get. And again, week one, I told people, you want a good future bet? Bet on Patriots to beat the Rams in the Super Bowl. If you guys haven't seen my Patreon account, there's a reason it's over $8,000. And really, it should be more. I mean, every sports gambler in the world should be there. I guarantee I won my followers at least a million dollars tonight. A lot of people had big money on the game, big money on futures. And again, you know why? Because I have a track record now of calling championships from the start of seasons. You know, last year I told you it was going to be Patriots and Eagles after week three. We do this season after season because we figured out how the games are scripted. So 13 to three, again, 41, the 13th prime, 41 year old Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 41. 13 is also the sixth prime. He gets his sixth championship, 13 to three, 16 points, Super Bowl 53, 53, the 16th prime. Jared Goff, number 16, gets his 16th loss. And 13 to three, the other thing about that score is if you just read it, like all is one number, like 133, football's got that 133 connection. Last year, Super Bowl 52, notice Minnesota's 52, it's also 133. Last year, the top four teams in the NFL were 13 and three. The year of the big game, Super Bowl 52. Every year, you can just go right down the line and see how it's all scripted. The Houston Texans, 51, hosted Super Bowl 51. San Francisco hosted Super Bowl 50. On and on and on and on and on. Okay, so let's talk about some other things. Let's talk about Michael Jordan. Tom Brady just became 6-3 and three and joined Jordan in the sixth championship club. Now, notice what year Jordan was born. 63. 63. Again, it was Tom Brady's 307th career game in the stadium with the 307 Gematria, 307, the 63rd prime. At halftime, every entertainer was wearing Jordans. You think that was a tell? You want to know how scripted this stuff is? Like I told you, Sony Michelle. Sony Michelle has the same birthday as Jordan. Sony Michelle, February 17th. Michael Jordan, February 17th. Born 32 years apart, NFL 32, 32 teams in the NFL. But notice Jordan's birthday, 217, 217, right? 217, where am I going with this? New England Patriots, 217. 
When I was a child, you guys, living in Portland, Oregon, watching my Blazers get beat by the Bulls, I knew as a child that sports were scripted watching Jordan. You couldn't breathe on him. You couldn't do nothing. It was a foul. It was a foul. It was a foul. He could he could rip somebody's arm off, no call. You know, He could travel, no call. I saw it as a child. I knew these games were scripted. I listened to these announcers say my whole life, you couldn't have scripted it any better. I didn't like getting mocked. You know, I was nobody's fool even as a child. That's why I figured out how these games were scripted. You know, because I saw what it was from a young age. Jordan's birth numerology, you want to get even funnier with this? 2 plus 17 plus 63, that's 82, right? Like how there's 82 games in an NBA season. Check this out. Pro basketball is 82, right? But that's not where I'm going with this. This was Super Bowl LIII, which equals 82. This was the Rams' 82nd season. New England Patriots equals 82. What a fitting match, right? It was the Patriots 59th season. The Patriots 59th season, the 17th prime. A rematch of the Super Bowl from 17 years earlier where the Patriots beat the Rams 20 to 17. So the 59th season, look at Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan 59. See how they do this? This is how scripted and planned out it all is. And for anyone who doubts it, just think about this for a second. LeBron James, King James on the Cavaliers. Do you know what where the name Cavaliers comes from? King James's son, King Charles, the people who fought for him were called Cavaliers. I want you to just think about that. King James ends up playing on the Cavs, win it on the real King James's birthday. All of this was planned from the moment he was born. LeBron James was born and bred to be. So are most of the men in these legs. You know, Sony Michelle was born and bred to be. The Super Bowl, 351 days after his birthday, number 26, gets the only touchdown in the game, given the AFC is 26 Super Bowl. You know, Jordan, 26. You guys want to know what's up with this? This is called the God number. In Hebrew, the word God equals 26. In English, it equals 26. That's why we have a 26-letter alphabet. When you write out letter, it equals 26. Not arbitrary. Read my book. The first chapter is why there's 26 letters in the English alphabet. So tonight, the Patriots. Dude, this guy's annoying the hell out of me. Stop calling, man. I said I'm not taking any calls until the end of the thing. Tonight, Patriots. They picked up their 37th playoff win all time. Remember, they advanced to the Super Bowl with 37 points. They beat the Rams 20 to 17 in Super Bowl 36. Why? We talked about this at the beginning of the year. I even put this out for free. Patriots equals 37. Los Angeles equals 37. The game was in Georgia. They got their 37th playoff win in Georgia, winning this big Super Bowl, becoming the second team to get to six. And notice again, when I write Los Angeles, you see the 53 over here? Notice when I write the Patriots, 53. Did you catch who the ref was tonight? 53-year-old John Perry. John Perry, 53. You see this 118, this 46? Look at Tom Brady, 118, 46. Look at Patriots, 118. Look at the singular Patriot, 99. It's the 99th NFL season. New England, 99. Tom Brady got his first ever career start in the 2001 season on the day leaving 99 days left in the year, September 23rd. Not by accident. 9-11 Patriot Act Patriots. Aaron Donald pointed this out in the offseason. Aaron Donald equals 99. He ended his holdout 99 days after his, con after his birthday. His birthday is May 23rd, 523, 523, the 99th prime number. The Patriots came into this NFL season with 523 franchise wins, the 99th prime number. Remember last year when Tom Brady lost the Super Bowl? When Tom Brady lost the Super Bowl last year, he had 223 wins, and he picked up his 65th loss against Philly. You know, I called the Patriots Eagles Super Bowl after Tom or after uh, Donald Trump took on the NFL over the protests on September 23rd. 23 slash 9, like 239 Arch Street, where the flag was sewn in Philly. 239 is the 52nd prime, Super Bowl 52. 
That was 101 days that Donald Trump did that after the flag's birthday, June 14th, which is also Trump's birthday. Philadelphia is 101, 101 is the 26th prime, flag 26. Every year it's just riddle, riddle, riddle. You know, this year was also about the flag and national anthem. Big 82, Patriots got it on the side of their helmet. New England Patriots win it against the Rams in their 82nd season. They don't have a flag on their helmet. And again, the GOAT beats the Rams. So did you see this? On January 31st, Sam Adams, the brewery out of Boston, comes out with this can. Samuel Adams, too old, too slow, still here. What's up with this? What's up with this? Hold on. Let me get that phrase one more time. Too old, too slow, still here. Look at this. Too old, too slow, still here. Only because the league's rigged. You see the 101? That's the 26th prime number. And they put this can out on January 31st. Okay? January 31st. Why does that matter? 131. When you write out Super Bowl, it's 131. When you write out Championship, it's 131. When you write out 57, it's 131. The Patriots last won the Super Bowl in their 57th season over the Falcons. This tonight was their 57th playoff game all time. They became 37 and 20 in the playoffs. Remember when they beat the Falcons on two slash five, like 25 with the 25 point comeback, Falcons 25. That was the 97th NFL season. 97 is the 25th prime number. They moved the touchback to 25 yards. This is how scripted it is year after year. Don't make me go back to uh, the Seahawks. Russell Wilson's 21st pass picked off at the goal line by number 21 on the down second and one on the day 2-1. Every year, game scripted in accordance with the date, in accordance with the season number. So, again, we covered Belichick wins his sixth championship at age 66, just like Nick Saban did in the same building against Georgia, who Sony Michelle paid for. Played for. Now, Sony Michelle, he gets one back. Now, he wears 26 in the NFL. Scores the only touchdown to give the AFC his 26th Super Bowl. These are the um, stats tonight before Boston won. They came in with 36 wins like they faced the Rams in Super Bowl 36. They picked up the 37th tonight. Los Angeles 37, Georgia 37, Patriots 37. And by the way, that's the 12th prime number like Tom wears number 12. Remember this game right here, the 12-18 game where only the 26 has scored touchdowns. This is how the season began on the 26th date numerology on the 26th of a lull. The team hosting the Super Bowl, again, kept it 351 franchise wins, the 26th triangular number. And just yesterday in college basketball, you had the George Mason Patriots lose to the VCU Rams with 63 points. As I've been explaining a million times and proving it, Season after season, college and pro are scripted, and they're scripted to the point. It's not an accident that the George Mason Patriots just lost with 63. And I want to show you something about the name George Mason Patriots. George Mason Patriots equals 237. Tom Brady just got his 237th career win tonight. Again, in his 307th game, in Mercedes-Benz Stadium, 307, the 63rd prime number. Looks like my camera froze. 307, the 63rd prime. Tom Brady becomes 6-3 and three in Super Bowls. And am I tripping or does 206 look a lot like 26? Like how the AFC got its 26th. Now what I want to do, now that we covered all this, Daniel 8, Genesis 26, why the score is 13-3. to three, how this is a tribute to Michael Jordan, the GOAT, again, where all the halftime entertainers were wearing Jordans. Jordan equals 26, same birthday as Sony Michelle. We talked about the uh, beer can. We hit that. We talked about how this is synced up with the college championship. And by the way, if you guys weren't with me then, I said why Alabama was going to win this game and how it foreshadowed what was to come years later with the Patriots in this Super Bowl. It is all this scripted. The uh, win records, 
here, the Rams, it's not, it'll be updated tomorrow. When you come back here tomorrow, you'll see the Patriots have 37 wins and you'll see the Rams picked up their um, 26th playoff loss in this giant ritual. Um, not updated yet. 26th playoff loss. You'll see it tomorrow. 21's the sixth triangular number. When you write out six, that equals 26. Tomorrow, this will be updated. It was also the Rams 47th playoff game. That's the 15th prime. Rams equals 15. Atlanta equals 15. Jared Goff and the Rams stay at 15 wins on the season. Goff at 26 career wins all time. But we covered this. What I want to show you now is just how scripted the box score is. This is going to blow your mind. If your mind's not already blown. And for anyone denying this, like seriously, if there's anybody here who's watching and denying this, I can't explain how much pity I have for you. You're mocking a person or doubting a person who's called championship after championship, all sports, college pro for over five years now. Okay, it's time to get with the program. So let's look first of all at how many passing yards Brady has. 262. Does that look like 26 to you? 26. Let me pause this down here so they don't do some copyright crap. 262, right? But do you see how there's 253 net yards? Okay. Watch this. The National Football League equals 253. Why does it equal that? Because 253 is the 22nd triangular number. There's 22 men on the field. Do you see how it equals 134? Did you see the Boston Celtics box score today? Do you see this? The Boston Celtics won with 134 points. Why does that matter? Well, the National Football League's 134. So is Vesica Pisces, which is the shape of the football. With the alphabetic order, Vesica Pisces, 134. Before this season began, we talked about Aaron Rodgers' record, $134 million contract, 13 weeks and four days from his birthday. We talked about Josh Gordon, whose birthday is April 13th, 13 slash four, returning to the league 134 days after his birthday. And you see this 53 right here? Look at Josh Gordon. 53. But hold on. Let me come back to the Vesica Pisces thing. The Celtics won with 134 points today. Football-related number. The Vesica Pisces, the shape of the football. And the team they beat was the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, here's what's up with that. Oklahoma City Thunder equals 101, the 26th prime. You see? You see that? Oklahoma City is also 52, like prophecy. Bill Belichick born in 52. 65, like how the Patriots just became 6-5 and five in Super Bowls. 133, like the score was 13-3. 191 is the 43rd prime number. Football is 43. But let me show you something about prophecy. Bill Belichick is born in 52, and he's born on the 106th day of the year, April 16th. Look at this. I'm going to show you something about him getting his sixth championship at age 66. And this stuff's all biblical, this code. Bill Belichick, born in 52, April 16th birthday. That's the 106th day of the year. Talked about this before. April 16th, 106. Now come back here. These are our base ciphers. The alphabetic order, the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, the reverse alphabetic order, and the reverse alphabetic order with numerology. When I add Jewish gematria, which is our most important cipher outside of the base ciphers, prophecy is 666, like Belichick getting his sixth at age 66. See how this is done? You see how this is done? And you see the uh, 29 there? That's the only number we didn't talk about. Football is also 29. Okay, so we got the Celtics before the game. Went in with 134. If you weren't following in me in July, in July I made a prediction about the World Series. I said if the Boston Red Sox make the World Series, they'll win in game five. They'll win four games to one. They'll close it out with number 41, Chris Sale, which they did. And the reason they're going to do it in game five, which was October 28th, the reason why, you can go back and check all this, it's 100% true, called this in July before the World Series came around, from October 28th, 2018 to 
Today, the day of the Super Bowl was 99 days. It was also three months and seven days. Patriots 37, Georgia 37, Los Angeles 37, but 99 days. Again, this is the 99th NFL season. New England, 99. This is how the entire world of sports is scripted together. NBA, MLB, NFL. The Red Sox scored 28 points or 28 runs combined in the World Series. The first two perfect numbers are 6 and 28. Brady gets 6. The Red Sox score 28 runs in the World Series. The next perfect number is a way bigger number. It's 496. And um, just for the record, you guys, numbers are perfect. Our most pure cipher is the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. Number is six letters, and it equals 28. Six and 28, the first two perfect numbers. Man with the alphabetic order is 28. Man made on the sixth day of creation. These are riddles. These are patterns to understand. They come up again and again. Oh. That's why you want to read my book. All this knowledge and information is in there so you can learn it, so you can have it as a resource. Okay, but I still haven't got to what I want to get to, which is this, or I guess I started. We're talking about Tom Brady and his 253 yards. So there's one more thing here. If you write out Super Bowl 53, it's 253. Brady has 253 net yards. Notice the 260, that's a lot like 26. There's 260 chapters in the New Testament. Notice the 100. Tom Brady got his 100th road win all time tonight. He got his 99th against the Chiefs in Arrowhead Stadium. In case you weren't paying attention to that. When, when Tom Brady beat the Chiefs in Arrowhead Stadium, he got his 99th road win exactly 99 days after the last time the teams had played on Sunday night football, another 99. And he got it against Patrick Mahomes Jr., 99. That was his 99th road win. Before the season began, I said there'd be some native genocide theme because it's the 99th NFL season and this nation began out of a genocide of the Native Americans. The United States of America, 99, the nation was named this on September 9th, 99. That's also California's birthday, September 9th, 99. This is why the Patriots beat the Chiefs in their home in the American Football Conference Championship. It's a sick riddle. You remember on uh, Christopher Columbus Day what happened in sports? The Saints beat the Redskins 43 to 19, 62 points, genocide 62. The Dodgers eliminated the Braves from the MLB 6 to 2, and the Astros eliminated the Indians. Christopher Columbus, who planted the seeds of the genocide, who journaled how easy it was to kill the natives who had no gunpowder, how easy it was to rape their women. This stuff's all a sick joke the way they script these games. Called this genocide ritual before the season even began. Also, Brady, he had 21 pass attempt completions, excuse me, 21 completions. That's the sixth triangular for his sixth Super Bowl win. He had 35 attempts, what I call the Tom Brady number. Tom Brady, with our most pure cipher, is 35. His birth numerology, August 3rd, 1977, 8 plus 3 plus 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 7 is 35. If you write out QB, it's 35. The first ever Super Bowl was won by the Packers with 35 points. Let me let me put this back up here real quick. Super Bowl 53. You see the 98? Look at Tom Brady again. 98. Look at Patriots again. 98. Look at uh, New England Patriots. That's why we said they were a lock to be in the Super Bowl last year, the 98th NFL season. Tom Brady had uh, 62 passing attempts in Super Bowl 51, and there were 62 combined points scored. I said, that's a sign they're going to be playing in Minneapolis, too. Patriots fell to 5-5 five and five in Minneapolis. Understand, it's all scripted together. So, Brady, 21 of 35, both meaningful numbers. And um, if you guys want to know something, there's these ciphers out here called Septenary and Chaldean. And check this out. Football equals 35 in Chaldean. These ciphers are related. And Super Bowl equals 35. See that? See that? First ever Super Bowl won with 35 points. Again, 35 is the reflection of 53. You got a 53-man roster. You got a 53-yard wide field. Again, it's the shape of the football, the vesica pisces, which is so important from sacred geometry. 
Vesica Pisces, to translate it, means flish, fish's bladder. Oops, not flesh. Fish's bladder. 53. And oh my God, I just noticed the 217 too, like uh, New England Patriots. What a trip, man. What a trip. All right, but check this out. Jared Goff, he had 229 total yards, not net yards, but 229. That's the 50th prime. And he bows down to Brady 50. Notice Brady's also 23 today, February 3rd, 2 slash 3. He tied Michael Jordan, number 23. Also, if you write out circle, it equals 50. And here we come full circle. We come full circle with it. Tom Brady starts it with the Rams, ends it with the Rams because of Daniel 8, where the goat defeats the Ram. You see how a circle is also 112, so it's Super Bowl. The Super Bowl was exactly 112 days after Jared Goff's birthday. And when the Patriots made the 41-yard field goal to put the game away, you might have noticed on the clock there was a minute 12 left. That stuff's not an accident, you guys. That's how scripted it is. 41-year-old Tom Brady wins it with the 41-yard field goal. The game was put away the 13th prime. Again, NFL's 13, LA's 13, LA falls to one and three in Super Bowls. So Sony Michelle, number 26, scored the only touchdown. His longest run was 26. It came at the end of the game to put it away. Burkhead followed that with another 26-yard run to put it away. They couldn't have scripted it any better. Todd Gurley with 35 yards. You understand why. 62 total rushing yards, the reflection of 26. You see the 154 net yards? Because this is paying tribute to what happened with the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox and the Patriots championships were scripted together. They were both Boston and L.A. Boston, L.A., Boston, L.A. Major League Baseball used to be a 154-game season. And the reason why is it was a tribute to Abner Doubleday, the Freemason that baseball is credited to. And for the record, look at baseball and Gematria using our four ciphers. 54, like 54 outs in a game. 18. Roger Maris hit 61 and 61. That's the 18th prime number. 162, like how there's 162 games in a modern season. Also 54. Again, like 54 outs in a game. And check out Major League Baseball. With the alphabetic order, it's 162. 63, Tom Brady just became 6-3. and three. The tribute was synced up with the Red Sox. We've been talking about this stuff. 351, the 26th triangular number. Game is 26. Ball game is 26. And um, go back and look at what day Roy Halladay died in a plane crash recently. Off the coast of Holiday, Florida, he died on November 7th, the day leaving 54 days left in the year. For the record, there's 108 double stitches on a Major League Baseball. 108 double stitches. Cubs just broke the curse after 108 years. They did it against Cleveland, the 216 area code. There's 108 double stitches. 108 doubled is 216. The Cubbies hadn't been in the World Series since 45 when they before they broke the curse after a 108-year drought. You know, they play at Wrigley 45. You know, Major League is also 45. When you add one through nine together, it's 45. Nine represents completion. The Baseball game is how many innings? Nine. You see? But hold on. I'm not done with this box score. Sony Michelle, why did he have 94 yards? It's right here. If you write out 94, it's 147. The first NFL Sunday to Super Bowl Sunday is 147 days. And again, World Series is also 147. How come? Freemason is 147. How come? Because there's this thing called the master builder. It means 22. Master builder means 22 in numerology. The Freemasons used to be the master builders. Football's a game of 22 men on the field. There's this relationship between 22, 94, and 147. It comes together all the time. So this is why you have Sony Michelle with the 94 yards. Now check this out. Edelman, he leads the game with 141 yards. Receiving. When you write out 33, it equals 141, 141. And why does that matter? 
Today's game was an ATL 33 down on the 33rd parallel. Notice ATLs 33, 48, 21, 6, 21, the sixth triangular number. Tom Brady gets number six. Look at Tom. 48, 33. You see? 33 has the relationship with 141. Look at Rob Gronkowski with 87 yards and six receptions. Hilarious because tight end equals 87. And better yet, who throws the ball to him? Number 12. 1287. Number 12, who is Tom? Remember on Sunday Night Football when they gave you a numerology lesson on SNF when it was Aaron Rodgers versus Tom? SNF 12, they teach you about 12. The problem for Aaron, who lost the game, is, is he has no connection to 12. Mockery. Mockery. So this is how it was scripted. You want to know even further how it was scripted? We covered this when they announced the, um, the halftime performer, Maroon 5. You see how they were out there with that big M on the stage at halftime? M's the 13th letter. The winning score was 13 points. Big old M out there, but hold up. Hold up. I'm not done. Maroon 5, Super Bowl 53. Let me just show you this real quick. If you write out Maroon 5 like this, it's even 53. Also 118, like Tom Brady. Los Angeles on the 118th meridian. Los Angeles on fire on 11-8, November 8th. I could tell you stuff about Big Boy and Travis Scott, but um, I want to show you what's up with Maroon 5 when they announced it. They announced that Maroon 5 was performing on September 19th. 19-9, Tom Brady was the 199th pick out of Michigan. 199 is the 46th prime. Tom Brady equals 46. So does Michigan. So these are numbers that are relevant to Brady. 199th pick was Brady. And check it out. From the date of the announcement, September 19th, to the Super Bowl was 137 days, the 33rd prime. We just talked about how Tom's 33. You know, ATL's 33 down on the 33rd parallel. Another name for the shape of the football is the Mandorla. We had, a, we had a tie game at 3-3 three to three in Super Bowl 53. Vesica Pisces 53, Mandorla 33 is the same thing. And um, Adam Levine, from his birthday, which is March 18th, his birthday is March 18th, from his birthday to the Super Bowl was 322 days. The number of Yale Skull and Bones, Walter Camp, who American football is credited to, went to Yale, and he probably was a Skull and Bones member. This code is Masonic. Yale's 43, Masonic's 43, football's 43. Remember, uh, for those of you who are my age or older, you probably remember the election of George W. Bush, who became the 43rd president. It came down to Florida, where his brother was the 43rd governor, where his father was the 43rd vice president. Again, they were both Yale Skull and Bones members, Yale 43. His father was also the um, 41st president, Skull and Bones 41. He's been involved in some Super Bowl coin tosses, 41. And speaking of the coin toss, in the game it was tails, wasn't it? Tails is 16, like the 16 points put up on the board, like 53, the 16th prime. Jared Goff, number 16, getting his 16th loss. So here it was, talking about uh, how this all was a good sign for Tom Brady. And um, again, that's why you want to be signed up on the Patreon, because we just drop gems. You know, we help people earn, we help people see truth. And I don't charge very much. You know, I charge $5 a month and you get a ton of content. You get hundreds of hours of video content every month. So.